Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is how to deal with arguments within your relationship. Now we all argue, we all have little fights here and there, and sometimes it can be really devastating, especially if it's continually happening or you're not resolving the actual problem and why you're having this argument. Sometimes what happens is people rehash the same argument over and over again. One of the reasons for this is because they're maybe feeling like they're not being heard, so they bring it up again. And so then the other person isn't wanting to discuss it because they've already talked about it. If you're not fixing the problem, the arguments are gonna continue to be there. And this is probably one of the biggest scenarios that happens in so many relationships and causes people to break up or have a lot of, of rifts and, and repetitive negativity within their partnership. You have to understand when you're arguing, even if maybe you don't believe what's going on and what your partner is saying, what they're upset about, you need to hear them and, and validate their feelings because when somebody is speaking and they're not being heard and it's sort of a repetitive thing that's hurting them and it's not being addressed, this isn't gonna fix itself. There has to be some form of compromise within every relationship, regardless of whether you believe in this argument or not. And that is, this is what a partnership is all about, is hearing your partner. And if we don't validate our partner's feelings regularly, and I mean equal here, I'm not talking just validating your partner and they're ignoring yours. This is what makes a really great relationship is when you actually hear the other person. You take time to understand what their concerns are. Why is this these arguments happening? If you're one of the lucky couples that has an argument and then it's over and it's not discussed again, then you get it. You've understood how to use an argument to your relationship benefit. Because this, as I said earlier, will help you grow and it will keep your relationship strong because you're learning things about each other and you're compromising. So a good way to do this is to sit down and talk about things, usually when you're not in the heat of the moment, although that's easier said than done. But if you talk about, say you have an argument and then it's you don't feel like it's completely resolved and you're out somewhere and you're having going for a walk or you're sitting down having a coffee together, you can sort of talk about it in a, in a, in a very disciplined manner and just say, look, I maybe need to understand a bit more about this or I felt hurt because you didn't, you didn't really hear what I was saying. And you can have this sort of conversation with each other outside of where the argument originated. And that can really help you as a couple because you're not angry and heated. Now you might get that way if you bring it up again, but if you're only bringing it up once or maybe twice after it happens, it, that's not so bad. But if you're constantly rehashing the same old argument over and over again, this is not a healthy uh, situation for your relationship, not at all. Because you'll start sitting there rolling your eyes at every single thing that's being said because you feel like it's just gonna be a continued discussion over and over again. You have to get to the point when you have an argument that you get it. You both understand each other's point of view in what transpired during that argument. It's not one person that's always right. You have to look and understand maybe why your partner was upset about that and you have to do the, the same thing as well. It's always a good thing too if you've got a lot of situations that are happening. You write down your concerns. Write them down and let your partner see them and they let you see theirs. And then take some time away from it and sort of look into, okay, is there some valid points here? What can I do to make this a little bit better living scenario? Because you don't want to come home and always have a situation to deal with. Because that's not fun. It becomes very hard to come home when you're constantly arguing or you know the minute you walk in the door, it's going to be that same situation. So if you're having repetitive situations that aren't being resolved, it's time to really look at what's going on here. 
Why are you hanging on to it? Why are they hanging on to it? Somebody's being too stubborn here. And if you can, as I said earlier, compromise on what the actual issue is, maybe get some help and talk to somebody, the, a neutral party that can come in and say something. And that might help you because sometimes when you, you say something to somebody and you ask them to repeat it back, they hear a completely different thing than what you said. So that's also another good form of practice. Like if you're not finding the answers to what you're both looking for, ask them to repeat what they heard you say. That can really help your relationship because they're interpreting it differently. So you might learn how to say it better and they may learn how to hear it differently. So these are all really good forms of practice to, to implement into your relationship because nobody goes unscathed without having a few fights in their, in their relationships. And as 10 years, 15 years goes by, it can be about little tiny things that just never seem to end. So take the time to listen to each other. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Zoo today. Please leave any comments you have. Please subscribe and click like on the video. I appreciate you all so much. Take care. See you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.